Hi and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information kindly subscribe and follow now, let's get started. Relying on a former, some of Jessa Duggar Seawald's admirers are becoming nervous about her most recent post. The mom, who is 32 years old, has returned with her regular life updates. Her ambition to become a prominent media influencer who promotes various brands and shows has gone unnoticed by many. But when Jessa posted fresh family images online, including one of her children walking barefoot, it unsettled several Redditors. Read on to find out what happened. Jessa just shared that they went to Ark Encounter, Kentucky. The former Counting On star has also started sharing cute videos of her children, particularly George, the youngest, on her YouTube channel. An endearing video of little George chewing a plush animal as he crawled about their home was one of the videos she posted. Despite the joy, a picture of Jessa's kid walking about barefoot caused a lot of folks to lose their cool. The return of Jessa Duggar Seawalt and her online family updates has brought joy to many counting on viewers. Still, a lot of people on Reddit were offended by their recent visit to Ark Encounter. The incident occurred after Jess's post of a picture of her husband beside Fern and Ivy. Many were captivated by Fern's bare feet in the shot. Several readers criticized Jessa and Ben for putting their child's health at danger while they were in a public area. Why on earth would you do this as a nurse girl? If nothing else, you could convince her to wear some solid flip-flops to protect her feet. Improve your child's chances of developing plantar warts on her feet. That place is reason 437 why I will never set foot in it. It makes me question if these folks ever deal with plantar warts. Classic hillbillies, right? Britney Spears, too, is from the South and was seen barefoot in a gas station restroom. What apathetic bunch. A few Redditors in a separate post also spoke about Jess's new video from Ivy's point of view. It was the young girl's mommy playing guitar that she was recording. Many were drawn to Jessa because of her sad and dissociating appearance. After her family was embroiled in several scandals after Josh's Sam arrest in April 2021, rumors began circulating that the former Counting On star may have been suffering from mental health concerns. Some have even suggested that her marriage may be wearing her down. She must be really worn out. To what extent is Ben useful? It would be disappointing if this were my life. He might covertly download sermons and listen to podcasts, but he claims to be getting ready for the next service. She seems thoroughly unhappy. She appears to be quite tired. Mother has broken off all contact. Counting on, a spin-off of 19 kids and counting, and Jessa Duggar Seawald, a notable Duggar family member, have all been involved in contentious situations in the past. Just recently, Jessa was the target of criticism for allowing one of her girls to go barefoot in public, which escalated an otherwise harmless incident into yet another internet tempest. Although it may seem little to some, the episode has ignited passionate discussions over parenting, cultural expectations, and the challenges of living in the spotlight. Everything started when Jessa posted a touching family photo on Instagram. The picture shows Jessa and Ben Seawald having a laid-back day with their four kids. Even though Jess's youngest kid was barefoot, her fans could tell the family was joyful and at ease because of it. While many of Jess's followers were quick to praise and remark on the post, others wasted no time criticizing her. Fearing that children would be exposed to viruses, sharp objects, or shattered glass, others said that it was irresponsible and unclean to let them wander barefoot in public. Some others thought it was a case of neglect and wondered why the kid didn't have shoes to begin with. The opposition, a heated debate erupted in the comments section quite immediately. Some have questioned the practice, asking how a mother could allow her kid to go barefoot. It's quite risky. Allies? Kids wear shoesless all the time. This is such a little matter, and people are responding too strongly. The importance of teaching children self-care cannot be overstated in discussions about parenting. That Jessa ought to be wiser. Concerns about Jess's parenting style are nothing new. For a long time, the Seawalds were scrutinized for a variety of reasons, including their approach to homeschooling and discipline. But the barefoot debate hit close to home since it questioned a cornerstone of parenting, making sure one's kid is safe. The Duggar children have always had to walk a fine line between living in the spotlight and enjoying their own company. Because of her family's extreme conservatism and unwavering religious beliefs, Jessa spent most of her childhood in the public eye. 
She has taken on the mantle of Spotlight Bear ever since she became a mother herself, giving her fans peeks into her parenting experience. A lot of people like her for being real and open on social media, but she's also under a lot of scrutiny, which is a double-edged sword. Everyone seems to have an opinion when you share a family moment, which is supposed to be a time to celebrate love and unity. Since Jessa has dealt with internet criticism before, this barefoot incident may seem like going over old ground. The difficulties of parenting in the information era are brought up in the larger discussion that it initiates. How irresponsible is it to let a toddler go around barefoot in public? That is the central topic of the dispute. Opponents point to the hazards that may occur. Hidden hazards, such as sharp items or deadly microorganisms, may be found in public settings. In cities, where people are more likely to become sick or hurt, these worries are well-founded. Conversely, a lot of parents think that barefoot play is quite normal and usually completely safe for kids. According to some, it may even aid in a child's physical development by making their feet stronger and enhancing their balance. Living barefoot is more of the rule than the exception in many societies. Some of Jess's backers were eager to bring this out, and some even shared anecdotes about how they let their children go barefoot. Nine out of ten times, my children don't wear shoes. They like it, and it's beneficial to them. You can't possibly be serious about criticizing this. Enough is enough, Jessa is thriving as a mother. Among the Duggar children, Jessa has had a similar experience. Every member of the Duggar family has been the target of public criticism at some point, whether it be for Jill Duggar Dillard's decisions to abandon the family's traditional practices or for Joy Anna Forsythe's honest writings about parenting. Unfortunately, Jessa is often a target due to her constant presence on social media. The Duggars' notoriety has also contributed to the exacerbation of little problems. A lot of critics have a knack for picking apart little things and using them as metaphors for bigger problems. Seeing her toddler in public without shoes provided Jessa with yet another opportunity to question her parenting. While Jessa has been mum about the barefoot scandal, we may learn a lot from how she handled such circumstances in the past. She has often shown maturity by choosing to ignore or react to criticism with comedy and grace. While being scolded for the lack of cleanliness in her house, she once shared a video illustrating the chaos of daily life with children, along with the message that perfection isn't necessary. One of the things that makes her popular with her fans is how she manages to be real and grounded. She probably chooses to concentrate on the positive aspects of parenthood because she views the barefoot response as just another instance of exaggerated criticism. The scandal involving Jessa brings attention to a larger problem. The excessive demands put on moms, especially those who are famous. Social media has turned what should be an intimate and personal experience parenting into a spectator sport. The public has a say in every matter, from the food that children consume to the clothes they wear. This constant scrutiny may take its toll on public personalities and influencers like Jessa. But it also shows how much more understanding and empathy is needed. The followers should stop being so critical and start helping one another out with the commonality of parenting. The barefoot argument may not seem important, yet it teaches us a lot about perspective and judgment. What one individual perceives as careless behavior in children, another may see as an innocent aspect of infancy. Different cultures, beliefs, and life experiences lead to different parenting approaches. A more caring and inclusive community may be created by embracing variety. This is probably only a little setback on Jessa's path to parenthood. Her love for her family shines through in every post, and she never loses sight of them. Though it may eventually go unnoticed, the barefoot debate highlights the difficulties and opportunities of bringing up children in the internet era. Children, barefoot or not, flourish in homes where they are surrounded by caring adults. The importance of Jessa Duggar Seawald's family is evident in everything that she does.